Liverpool win by three goals to one against Wolves. Chris Pajak here for the Red Men TV. My match reaction, of course, done loads of content today for you. Uh, but Jurgen Klopp, man, what a performance by him today. And we've talked about the players a, 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 a lot today already. But Jurgen Klopp deserves all the credit in the world for me because we go out there, he sets us up, it's slightly different. We look at, you know, Joe Gomez dropping into the midfield too to make that box midfield. We look at Dom Sobersly dropping back and Gakpo dropping back to make that box midfield. Kurt Jones did it at a time. Jürgen Klopp waited to half time, sat through what was a miserly first half. It was crap. Liverpool were poor. Poor performances all over the football field. And he looks at it and he goes, we need to pin Wolves wingers back a bit. So he changes the shape. He takes off McAllister, who'd had a poor first half. Wasn't the only one by any stretch of the imagination. <clears throat> excuse me, and he brings on Louis Diaz and everything changes, whether it's 4-4-2, whether it's 4-2-4, whether it's 4-2-3-1, not 100% sure. They're all very similar. If you think of the, how, well, how's a 4-2-3-1 ever look like a 4-4-2? Well, if one strike is slightly deeper than the other, it can look like a 4-2-3-1. But we change it and Wolves wingers stop getting forwards. Neto stops having a fantastic game and we make it more difficult. And Diaz is the perfect guy for that. He's driving on the football. He's trying to make things happen. And then Liverpool get the goal all through Cody Gakpo of course and Mo Salah brilliant work on the right hand side but the feet by Diogo Jota glorious little one two nutmeg um, it was beautiful Salah across the Gakpo game's changed mate game has changed and Klopp's done it and Gary O'Neill has nothing and this is why Jürgen Klopp is such a good manager and I think over the years we've always wondered whether his substitutions make sense but every time that Jürgen Klopp has had a boss squad Jürgen Klopp's substitutions are brilliant and one substitution one change of system, uh, one waiting till half time means that Liverpool get three points and go to the top of the Premier League table at the end of our game, of course. Um, so, yeah, I just think it was absolutely brilliant. And then sticking with it, he decides to bring on uh, Elliot and Nunes on about 56, something like that. So, really early into the second half, and Nunes has an impact. Elliot has a massive impact, of course. And um, the substitutions made sense. Jürgen Klopp deserves all the credit in the world. And the performance was there. Second half, Sobersai, Kurt Jones, turn their performances around. Andy Robertson puts in a captain's performance, scores by a right, what should be a winner. But then Harvey Elliott going into the crowd and all that type of stuff absolutely nailed it fan on the football field for us I love Harvey Elliott I love him to bit I just wish that like I was him to be honest with you I'm a 40 year old man he's a kid playing for Liverpool Football Club and loving life with the fans everything else but Liverpool put in a professional performance and once again they proved that you can't beat us you can't knock us down we will find a way we never give up that's what this Liverpool story is this season so far two games down to red, red cards two games down to 10 men back for the win this one down 1-0 we've got to cut those mistakes out by by you know definitely need to do that we started slow we started sluggish that 12-30 kickoff did not help us in any way shape or form but ultimately we found a way to win we dug in and that just might be Liverpool this season finding a way to win and the confidence that this brings again after the result against Aston Villa after the result against Newcastle after the result against Bournemouth was it these all just boost our confidence and the squad is starting to gel together and when the squad starts to gel together, gel together and the squad starts to believe in themselves and believe in the manager and what he is doing, that's when good things happen at football clubs. Right now, Jürgen Klopp's on a roll. Right now, Liverpool are on a roll. Right now, Liverpool can, you know, turn things around from last season and really put a put a marker down this season and show that, all right, we might not be good enough to beat Manchester City over the course of a 38-game Premier League season, but we are good enough to challenge and we are good enough to win football ball games and we, we will be there come the end of the season whatever competitions we're being in because we've got that belief we've got the manager we've got the players we've got the forward players the defence still I think is struggling at times and we are a little bit easy to get at but if you can continue to score goals you're always going to have chances to win football games uh, thank you for Michael Owen for that one um, so yeah listen uh, loads of content out on redmenplus.com in um Instant match reactions out there, player ratings is out there. If you've not seen it on YouTube, Chloe's got a video of, of Harvey Elliott going into the uh, into the Liverpool away end. You've got to check that one out. Obviously, all the other match reactions from Paul, who was at the ground as well. I mean, some great content, great time to be a Liverpool fan, of course. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Ta-ra.